Hi there, my name is Alexandra Trahan and I'm a master's student at Carleton University in the Fish Ecology, Conservation and Physiology Lab. Today I'm going to be asking the questions, do carbonated beverages reduce bleeding from gill injuries in angled northern pike? Recreational angling is common practice around the globe. Catch and release occurs when recreational anglers compi comply with local harvest regulations or when it is adopted voluntarily based on their conservation ethic. The problem that is arising with catch and release angling is that injuries occur, some major, some minor. There are two solutions for this issue. We can either prevent deep hooking injuries from, occur from occurring or try to stop the bleeding once it occurs. It recently became popular in the media to use carbonated beverages such as Mountain Dew to stop the bleeding of injured fish. So we decided to test this theory on the most sensitive part of a hardy fish, the gills of a pike. We use three variables to test the efficacy of this intervention. Gill color as a proxy for blood loss, where the change over 20 minutes would show if, if it is lighter then there was a blood loss. However, if it stayed the same, then there wasn't. If it increased, then there also was not a blood loss. The bleeding intensity over the course of the time spent bleeding, zero, where there was no bleeding at all. One, where there was minor bleeding or not obvious. Two, obviously bleeding, easily observed, or three, intense bleeding and pulsated flow, and then cessation of bleeding time. We did this experiment twice in two different seasons. Season one, where the water temperature varied from 11 to 18 degrees Celsius, where we, compa where we compared the baseline here, where we did not cut or pour anything, the control, where we only cut the gills, carbonated, uh, carbonated lake water, where we cut the gills and poured 150 milliliters of carbonated lake water onto the gills, where we cut and poured 150 milliliters of Mountain Dew, and same thing for, for Coca-Cola. These are the two most popular carbonated beverages used in the media. And then in season two, where the water temperature varied from 24 to 27 degrees Celsius, where we compared the baseline, again, where we did not do anything, the control, where we cut but no pour, and then Mountain Dew at two different temperatures, four to eight degrees Celsius to simulate being in a cooler and 24 to 27, uh, that would be being out on the boat. For the gill color index, we did not find that there were any differences between any of the treatments during either season. And there were not any differences either in the bleeding intensity values among treatments in season one or in season two. And then again, for bleeding stop time or bleeding cessation time, there were not any differences in season one or season two among any of the treatments. So our results do not provide evidence that pouring carbonated beverages on gills, gill injuries of northern pike is beneficial. However, we were able to provide the first evidence that counters the growing popularity of using this tactic. We, although we did not find any benefit or disbenefit, it is possible that there are longer term impacts, therefore future studies should look into long term survival post release. This study contributes to the growing body of literature that emphasizes the need for anglers and fishery scientists to work collaboratively to ensure the best practices being employed benefit fish. Thank you very much.